and one in ten callers to a postnatal depression helpline are at serious risk of self-harm or even suicide. As Liz Hobday reports, many new parents are feeling extra pressure from social media. Chantelle Thompson's family is enjoying the good times. But just a few years ago, after the birth of her twins, Chantelle suffered severe postnatal depression. I was having visions of hurting the kids and I wasn't able to tell anyone. With little help available, her solution was martial arts. Without jiu-jitsu, I wouldn't be here. It's, it's as simple as that. New figures from the Post and Antenatal Depression and Anxiety Helpline show one in ten of their callers is at serious risk of self-harm or suicide. Our sense is there's still a lot of stigma around this issue, that it's really hard for a mum to put up her hand and say, this is happening to me. Lisa Faruja is also a mother of three, and she too knows what postnatal depression is like. I just remember feeling completely overwhelmed and scared, terrified and no energy, I couldn't sleep. Even with her oldest daughter finishing school this year, she still remembers how it took her months to finally tell a nurse what she was going through. The burden of covering it up and pretending everything okay, was OK when it wasn't just added to my stress. She says these days social media has increased the pressure on new parents. Pictures of mums who are you know, back wearing their jeans afterwards and posting happy snaps of their babies and it's not the reality for all mums. I don't just share the good days, I share the days where I'm tired or the days where things just haven't come together in a way they should. But for Chantelle Thompson, things have come together. She's made it to the national wrestling team and is hoping to qualify for the Commonwealth Games. The Panda National Helpline is 1300 726 306. Liz Hobday, ABC.